Now that we've learned to build our first groups and work our way around the interface of preferences, let's go ahead and launch a demo show. If you're learning at home or at your workplace and not in front of a lighting rig, these demo shows can be a great way to learn. However, if you're at your venue and already connected to your lighting rig, you might as well use what you have in front of you. But since we're going to work with one of these demos in these videos, we might as well show you. So you can either follow along and you'll be exactly using what we have, or you can use what you have in your space. I've headed to the Lightshark community at community.lightshark.es, gone to the Tools for a Lightshark page, and now I'm going to go to Capture Demo Shows. I'll go ahead and download the Concert.c2p page and also the Concert.l show. Now both of these have downloaded and I'm ready to launch them. First, on my computer, I will launch the .c2p file. This will launch in the mm -hmm. Capture Visualizer. Here we have a nice lighting rig that we're able to work with. You'll need to download the Capture Visualizer demo, which can run for up to 90 minutes on a loaded file. Then you can simply close it and relaunch that same file to get back exactly where you were before. The .lshow file is for the Lightshark itself. Let's show you how to load that. Here we are back in the Lightshark interface. We'll go up to our menu and go to the file manager. There is a demos folder here, which has a variety of demos, including concert.lshow. But just for fun, I'm gonna show you how to import, select a file either from your tablet or computer's file browser, and then it will be imported here. If we go back, we should be able to find it in this list, though admittedly, I have a lot of files on my console. So I'm gonna go here to the demos, and grab that file. Press yes, and the show will be loaded. Now let's get some output. In order to talk to a computer running Capture from capture.se, you'll need to enable the DMX over the ethernet. So we'll go here, back into our preferences menu, and to DMX setup. By default, SACN is turned on for all universes, and it's on universe one through eight. Typically, this is going to work best. Then, in the capture settings, you should be able to select it here on the external universes. If you are not, you can go to the connectivity options and ensure that for the SACN, the IP address is set to the correct interface. You'll then be able to restart and be good to go. For more settings, you can head to the network setup page, and the DMX streaming will be your interface where you set the IP address and subnet mask for the ethernet adapter. Exit, and you should be able to see those universes here in the show file, and then be able to select those lights and press highlight, for example, and see them working. Now, somehow this massive LED wall got turned on and it's very bright, so I'm just going to click on it and delete it. Now, if I go on highlight fixtures, I see them come, I see them go, and we're good to go. Once we're connected, we can go ahead and begin programming here in the Lightshark. Here, I'm just gonna go create a couple groups with some layouts so that we're good to go. For example, I can select all my fixtures, record a group, and then I can take time to lay them out as desired, like we showed in the last video. For now, we'll wrap up this video and then we'll learn about creating palettes in our next video. Thanks.